In this week's episode of Monkey Shorts, we are going to continue our journey into Power Query IntelliSense, this time looking at how we can navigate the tooltip text to actually look at different parameter configurations for our functions. So let's jump into Excel here, and I'm gonna call up the same function I was using last week. So we're gonna go with uh, list alternate. I'm gonna open my parenthesis on this, and at this point, what you'll notice is it says, okay, list alternate takes a list as a list, counts as a number. Awesome. But down here, it's also got this little one of three. And this is the part that drives me crazy with this is when you mouse over it, you get the little hand here and this looks absolutely clickable. And when you click it, it disappears, which is super unhelpful. So how do you actually get that to work? Well, the answer is if you click inside here, you actually would use your down arrow. And your down arrow key allows you to actually go through and look at this to say, okay, well, this one, the first one said our list is list, count as number. Our second one gives us count as number, then repeat interval as nullable number. And there's one more, which actually also has an offset to it as well. Now, what's interesting about this though, is that even if I settle on, hey, I'd like item number three here, what I would hope would happen in this case is that it would actually continue prompting me using this particular signature. But what you're gonna see here is that I'm gonna go and put in my list and hit comma, and it resets this, which is really frustrating because now I've gotta go and arrow down three again and say, okay, okay, granted, it doesn't change in this case, but the way that some of these things happen on occasion, potentially it could. So in this case here, we're gonna go with a count of two numbers. We'll go with a repeat. So as you move across in the parameters, you can see that they do end up bringing them in. Every time I hit a comma, it'll tell me what the next one is. But I really wish you could actually get that signature once you've actually worked your way through it to stick there so I know about where I am in this and what else is coming up. Especially when you get some like weird wording in these things. At any rate, the arrow keys are king. You don't wanna be using your mouse for trying to deal with this kind of stuff. So there you go. It's a handy tip for how to actually go and scroll that window while you're actually working inside a function there. So I'm just gonna throw in a one on this one here, go to the end and commit it just so that we actually get a product that comes out. There you are. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.